so the next topic uh, in different types of masses is equivalent mass so basically equivalent mass uh, first i've written the definition so that when i start solving all this you will understand so how is it defined it is defined as number of parts by weight of a substance okay we'll be taking a ratio of the number of parts of the uh, weight of the particular substance whichever element is given to you that combines with or it displays directly or indirectly okay so remember all these keywords in your brain so it's easy when i apply in any or all of these you will understand fine directly or indirectly or means that means when they combine they're going to displace how much by weight that is 1.008 weight of hydrogen that is or eight parts by weight of oxygen or 35.5 parts weight of chlorine okay why did they give only specifically hydrogen oxygen chlorine basically the different methods for determining equivalent mass what is that everything has a separate formula one two three four five six seven eight nine methods are there for determining equivalent mass so for your prescribed ncrt syllabus you have only general methods what are those we'll see so the first method is hydrogen displacement method so this definition is common for this one hydrogen because i said it's going to directly or indirectly displace 1.008 parts of hydrogen right next oxide for formation method okay chloride formation method i've taken this chloride displacing i'll be comparing it in both next metal displacement method next would be double de decomposition method i'll also be teaching you what is electrolytic method for calculating equivalent weight neutralization method silver salt method as well as the last method is general method under this as i said you're going to study about calculating equivalent weight or equivalent weight of a metal that is a general method which you have second equivalent weight of an acid next equivalent weight of a base next equivalent weight of a salt right all these you have for your syllabus so the last one is compulsory you should know but that apart from that all these methods also come under equivalent weight we'll be learning one after the other